Welcome to Lecture Online and the first way of looking at what a derivative is is the slope of a straight line. So remember that the general equation of a straight line can be written as y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Now remember how we found the slope of a straight line like this. We picked two points on the line and you see that this point right here has the x-coordinate 2 and the y-coordinate 5. This point has the x-coordinate 1 and the y-coordinate 3. And so the slope of that line, the slope, can be defined as the change in the, in the, uh, the ratio of the change in the y-value, so the change in y, divided by the change in x, delta x. So the little symbol there, the little triangle symbol, simply means change in. And so it's a change in y divided by the change in x. And so what we can say is that if this here is, for example, um, x sub 2 and y sub 2, and these two values here are x sub 1 and y sub 1, then we can say that the change in y simply is the difference between y sub 2 and y sub 1. So we can write y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, so x2 minus x1, and that ratio gives us the slope of that function. So if we plug in the values, so this gives us 5 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 1, which is 2 divided by 1, which is 2. So that's the slope of the function, which is the m right there. So y equals 2x plus the y-intercept. You can see that the y-intercept here is 1, so we can say 2x plus 1, and that's the equation of that straight line. Of course, that equation is not the derivative. What we can say, though, is that the derivative of this function, the derivative, is equal to the slope of the function, which is equal to delta y over delta x, which we can go to the same procedure, which in this case is equal to 2. So in this case, you see that if you have a straight line function in the form of y equals mx plus b, that the derivative is simply equal to the slope of the function, in this case, the m, or in this case, Two. The slope, of course, this function is 2. Now, one of the common ways of writing the derivative, we can say that the derivative can be written as a dy dx, and in this case, the dy dx for this particular function is equal to 2. Now, what if we have a different function? For example, what if we have a function that looks like this? Like that, and we, if we then measure the, the slope, if we then go, okay, here we have a, a delta y, and let's say that this here is a delta x. And let's say that in this particular example, of course, this would be the y-axis, this would be the x-axis. Let's say that the delta y is equal to 1 and the delta x is equal to 4. Then in this particular case, again, we have a straight line function. The general equation for this function is y equals mx plus b. Notice that the m in this case, again, is the change in y over the change in x. So y is equal to the change in y over the change in x times x plus b. And in this case, the change in y is 1, the change in x is 4, so y is equal to 1 over 4x plus b. And then this value right here, that then becomes the derivative of that function. So in this case, we could say that the derivative, which is equal to the change in y, or matter of fact, the better way to write it is, we could write it, which is equal to dy dx, in this case is equal to 1 over 4. So, for a straight line function, the derivative is simply the slope of the function. And what does that slope of a straight line function represent? It simply represents how fast the function is changing. If I know how fast x changes, I can then find the appropriate change in y. And that ratio, how fast y changes when x changes, that ratio is the slope, and that ratio is also the derivative of that function. So when it comes to a straight line function, the derivative is simply the slope of the function. And that's pretty straightforward.